Deputies say he rigged the door to his home in an attempt to electrocute his pregnant wife. Police arrested an Orlando man for attacking a flamingo. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Donkey of the day. With Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Well, it's not me, Duval. It's your state. Okay, Donkey of the day for Tuesday, March 22nd, goes to a Florida woman named Kristen Wiley. Uh, she is 49 years old, and she resides in Vero Beach, Florida. Now, what does your Uncle Charla always say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. That is a statistical fact. Okay, it's not an opinion, it's science. There are basic science facts, okay, like the Earth orbits the sun, water is the liquid state of H2O, and people from Florida are crazy. Now, one thing I'm big on is breaking generational curses. Okay, I'm not doing all this therapy and healing work for nothing. You know the motto, when it comes to generational curses, it ran in your family until it ran into you. And that's why I have to cheer and applaud all the babies out there who know better than us adults. All the youngins who see the error in adult ways and have no problem checking them. See, just because someone is older than you doesn't mean they can't be called out when they are doing wrong, okay, by someone younger. All right. The youth are the hope of our future. What did the late great Whitney Houston say? Uh, I, I believe that children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Can I get an amen? Amen. Thank you. Well, thank God Kristen Wiley was blessed with the nine-year-old she was blessed with. And it seems, you know, it would do her some good to listen to her little jit more often. Okay, see, Kristen Wiley was wilding because she was driving drunk with her nine-year-old in the back seat. First of all, driving drunk in 2022 is archaic, okay, especially with all these ride shares available. As long as you're not calling your ride share when you're drunk so you can go fight in Ukraine, calling ride shares when you're drunk is absolutely what you are supposed to do. Driving drunk lets me know you don't care about yourself, you don't care about anyone else on the road, and if you got your nine-year-old in the back seat, you damn sure don't give a, give a damn about him either. All right. Nobody wins when you drive drunk. Driving drunk is simply one test you can't afford to fail. And one thing you realize when you drive drunk is that, you know, trees and guardrails defend themselves very well. OK, this is also what I mean when I say the only thing that keeps any of us safe is human behavior. We are all trusting that we are doing the right things, because if I get drunk and get behind the wheel, my behavior puts so many others at risk. I can potentially kill folks because of my negligence. And the fact that Kristen Wiley was drunk with her nine year old in the back seat lets, you know, lets me know everything I need to know. OK, and, and please understand, this is one of those ones that will make you lose faith in humans, but it will restore your faith in humans just as quick. Let me tell you the story. See, Kristen Wiley was a drunk driving suspect, according to investigators. Uh, Kristen, who is a teacher, a teacher, my God, how can I trust you with my kids when you don't even care about yours? Kristen was allegedly so intoxicated that she narrowly avoided striking a police car as she drove on a Vero Beach street around 2 a.m. The cop car had its lights flashing because they had pulled over to handle an unrelated incident. Now, when deputies approached Christian's 2018 Ford, drop on the clues bombs for 2018 Ford, that's what we need to see at the car showing, okay? They spotted her son, who was not wearing a seat belt, in the back seat, curled up and crying. In the arrest affidavit, this is when it gets good, in the arrest affidavit, hmm, a cop noted, that the wobbly Wiley's eyes were water and red in color. That's how he described her. Wobbly Wiley. Do you know how drunk you got to be for someone to say you wobbling and the damn wobble not even playing? Okay. If ain't no wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby. Get in there. If that ain't playing. And by in there, I mean in the back of the squad car. Okay. The police said Kristen Wilding was wobbly. Eyes. She had eyes that were watery and red in color, and there was a strong odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting off her person and her breath. When asked by police if she had been drinking, Wiley said no. Mm. That is when cops say a young boy became a man. This is when Simba became Mufasa the leader of Pride Rock. This is when police say they understood what Whitney Houston meant when she said she believes children are the future. Because when Kristen Wiley was asked by police if she was drunk and she replied no, her nine-year-old son came from the back seat and said, and I quote, Mom, you can't lie to the police. You did drink. Drop on the clues bombs for that nine-year-old, okay? <laughs> then the young man told cops that his mother had been drinking at a party. 
and that he had asked her to slow down while they were driving back to their Vero Beach home. Dropping the clues bombs for that nine-year-old once again. The child said he was very scared while Kristen was operating the vehicle. The child also told the cops that he saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. And he also said that sometimes mommy put sugar on the table and sniffs it up through her nose and then yells, Whoa! But that had nothing to do with the story. After her child did his civic duty as a human and told on Kristen, she admitted to consuming two vodka mixed drinks at a party. She declined to perform a field sobriety exercise. She later agreed to a breath test, which recorded her alcohol content at nearly three times the legal limit. And in addition to a misdemeanor DUI account, Wiley was charged with child abuse, a felony for allegedly driving drunk with her son in the car. She was also charged with resisting a uh, Arrest, okay, for snatching her hands away when a cop sought to handcuff her. And if you ask me, she's going to end up getting a charge of intimidating a witness. Because as soon as she tells her nine-year-old, I'm going to beat your ass when we get home. I'm going to beat your ass. That's intimidating a witness. The moral of the story is, listen to the kids, bro. Okay? Please let Remy Ma give Kristen Wiley the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. You stupid mother Are you dumb. Mm-hmm. We gotta play again. You wanna play a game? I wanna play a game. You wanna play a game? Yep. Hey, right, let's play a game. Let's play a game of Guess What Race It Is! All right, Kristen Wiley. 49 years old of Vero Beach, Florida, was driving drunk with her nine-year-old in the back seat, and her nine-year-old told the police, yes, my mom was drinking. Mm -mm. Guess what race she is. Angela Yee. I'm going to say white. Okay. What makes you feel that way? Um, I don't know. Just the feeling that I have from the story. <laughs> it just feels white. Yeah. <laughs> You know, kids, I think when I was young, if that would have happened to me, I would have been like, no. Because we're taught to, you know. Envy? Have the family's White. back. <laughs> White. Why do you say that? Well, you know, my daddy was a police officer. He's mm -hmm. retired now. No matter what, kids supposed to stay in the kid's position. You shut your mouth. You don't say nothing. You don't talk. You say absolutely positively nothing. I don't care what's going on in this house. You don't take outside, inside business outside this house. Well... I'm going to say Angeli and DJ Envy, both of y'all are right. I mean, right. right. <laughs> what? Y'all are both right. Okay. Christian Wiley is Caucasian. This is her right here. But to play white devil's advocate. Oh, boy. I'm a nine-year-old in the back seat. I've been told about the dangers of drinking and driving for a long time. You don't care about my well-being. I'm back here with no seatbelt, curled up, crying, and you driving drunk. I got to get out of this relationship. Okay? Then, I need better for my life. And then what's going to happen when you get home? It don't, I'm, you're going to beat me, and then I'm going to call the police, and you just intimidated a witness. Now you got another charge. And then you're going to get beat again. Well, now I need a new house. Now that's that's, all, child that's, abuse. that's really what I'm, exactly. And that's really what I'm trying to get at. I need a new location. Send me to my grandma or something. <laughs> this isn't working out, okay? I don't think this little young man did anything wrong. He didn't. And I encourage well, it, okay? You yeah, see well, something, say something. Nah, not at all. Even home. if it's your mama. Mm -mm. Especially nope. when it's your mama driving drunk with you in the back seat. Now that's wrong. With no seatbelt on. That, that she is, don't care about you. That's absolutely wrong. She don't care about you. But you, And guess what? If she was to get an accident, little boy will die and she'll live. That's just how the things work out. Because she's so drunk and her body all numb. Little boy would have flew out the window. All, yeah. She, he did the right thing. Dropping the clues bomb for that nine-year-old Caucasian individual. All I okay. know, he Karen, I, he Karen is Karen. I was raised. You don't take inside business outside this house. You shut your mouth. Mm -mm, that's different. Not when I'm in danger. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Not when I'm in danger. Did mm -mm. your mom and daddy teach you the same? Not when I'm in danger. I don't, my parents would never put me in that situation. Nine year old in the back seat, drunk as hell. No, they won't put me in that particular. I Karen, my Karen. I ain't say I was. You don't say nothing. Mm -mm. Shut your mouth. Mm -mm. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.